what is going on YouTube? So coming back today with my wings preview for 2016 free agency. So if you saw my bigs video yesterday, I ranked out the top 10 bigs in this year's free agency where I think they're going to go and why I think they're going to go there. And I'm going to be doing the same thing for wings. If you uh, just want a little clarification on what I consider a wing or what a wing is considered anyway, um, anything small forward or just a crossover between shooting guard and small forward, predominantly small forward. So go ahead and start with number 10. And I got the former Boston Celtic, Evan Turner. I think the Celtics might pursue Turner a little bit, but I don't know if they are going to try extremely hard to re-sign him. Um, he's due for some big money. Uh, he had somewhat of a breakout season this year, and I'm assuming a team that has like some big offensive needs just needing to fill a wing spot is going to go after Evan Turner. I think that's going to be the New Orleans Pelicans. That seems to be the favorite to land him right now. Number nine, I got Alan Crabb, former Portland Trailblazer. I think he's going to stay in Portland. Um, I, it sounds like the Trailblazers want to keep that uh, keep that little role they had with him going. I think they found a good role for him in the lineup, and I think they like the court they got moving forward, and I don't think that really anyone's going to give a high enough offer that the Portland Trailblazers won't match it on the offer sheet. So at number eight, I got J.R. Smith, former Cleveland Cavalier. Also think he's going to stay with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Again, it, Cleveland is by far the best uh, best time he's had in his career so far. Stayed out of trouble, had a good season, and obviously won a championship. I think anyone like that that has good a good time playing aside, Le or playing aside LeBron James um, is not going to leave um, playing alongside LeBron James. So at number seven, I got Harrison Barnes. One of the more interesting uh, situations in free agency, uh, obviously former Golden State Warrior. I think the Warriors really do want to keep him, but I think this guy's due for a max. I don't think he should get a max. That's my personal opinion, though. Um, there's probably three guys ahead of, ahead of him on this list that will not get the max. Um, but that's beside the point. I think there's a large group of suitors after him, but the strongest one seems to be the Philadelphia 76ers, and I can see that becoming a reality because I think the Sixers are finally starting to try to put together a young core to push forward for uh, contention. So at number six, I have Kent Bazemore, from former Atlanta Hawk. I think the Hawks are uh, do have good chances to land him, but Kent Bazemore has one of the longest lists of suitors just in free agency this year. I think he's going to go to the Milwaukee Bucks. I don't know if that's the best fit for him, but the Bucks seem to be the strongest suitors right now. There's been a lot of rumors floating around the last oh, 20 hours about him going to the Bucks and about uh, drawing interest from both sides, from Bazemore and the Bucks. Number five, I got Evan Fournier, former Orlando Magic, or former Orlando Magic shooting guard, small forward. I think he's going to stay in Orlando. I think he's got a decent list of suitors as well. Uh, Memphis, Milwaukee, who two teams that I'm going to be talking about here in a little bit. Actually, one that I just talked about. I think he's another one that's going to have a decent list of suitors. I think he's going to be one of the better value pickups in free agency this year. But I think the Magic are going to try very hard to keep him. He's broke out with the Magic. I think they want to keep him in Orlando. Number four, I got Chandler Parsons, former Dallas Mavericks. Struggled with injuries a little bit. Um, I don't think he's going to stay in Dallas. I don't think there's a chance of that. I think he's going to go to the Memphis Grizzlies. Grizzlies need a little bit of help just with versatile players and a little bit of help offensively, especially at the two and the three spot. I think it'd be a good landing spot for both teams, especially if they can keep Mike Conley. That'd be actually a direction that I was not anticipating for Memphis if they're able to keep Mike Conley and get a guy like Chandler Parsons and have as good a draft they did as they did with uh, Wade Baldwin and um, Deontay Davis. That, that puts them in a whole new contending position in my mind. So number three, I got Nick Batum. Again, going to have a decent list of suitors. I think he's going to stay in Charlotte. I think Charlotte's going to do everything possible to keep him there. Uh, they found a great role for him, and I think they want to continue having it that way. That's something that I really don't think is going to change. Uh, I think he's going to stay in Charlotte. At number two, I got Kevin Durant. Um, obviously, a long list of suitors you could talk about. Um, I did an entire video over where I think Kevin Durant might go, where he will go, where it'd be cool for him to go. Um, you know, the Celtics seem to be a hot commodity right now to land. Kevin Durant, Houston Rockets have shown ample interest in him. Uh, he denied the Lakers a meeting. Uh, Knicks have shown ample interest. Um, 
Obviously, the Golden State Warriors are one of the favorites as well. I think he's going to go back to the Oklahoma City Thunder. That seems to be uh, the rumor swelling around everywhere that, you know, he's going to kind of pull a LeBron from, what, what two years ago, two-year contract, one-year player option, and then uh, see what happens after that. I think that's what's going to happen. So num- with number one, obviously got LeBron James. He's going to sign for a little bit more money with Cleveland. Um, and I, I mean, I don't see any reason why he wouldn't finish out his career there. So sorry for the top three being kind of boring with that. All I would say if anyone's going to leave out of the top three will be Nick Batum. Um, I think Kevin Durant's free agency will be more interesting in 2017 if he opts out. 2017 free agency as a whole is going to be extremely interesting with all all of the big names that are going to be free agents that year. So that pretty much does it for this video. I will be putting the results of this entire list in the description below if you want to read over them again or if just for some reason you skipped to the end and wanted to see that. Um, do that always anyway. And then if you have not seen the video from yesterday, I'll post that link in the description below as well. Or I might just create a playlist. I, I'll do one of the two. Anyway, that's pretty much it. That's it, yeah.